Hello everyone, welcome to another live match with the Average Angler. Today is the Saturday Open at Viaduct on the Campbell Pool, because that's where most of the Opens are on here. And we've drawn peg one, two, four. Now we're fishing with predominantly silvers in mind. Silvers have been winning the overall matches, although it's very mild today as you can see. So the cart might pay a part. But I'm hoping to have a good down the silvers and see where that takes me. If, I'm, if my peg's full of carp, I'll deal with that when I get to it. So what have we got with us today? Caster and Core. These two are going to be form the main attack for me today. So I'm going to be fishing out at 30 metres with Caster. Feed a bit of Caster, ping a bit of Caster, see what happens. And just past that, at 14 and a half metres, I'll be pinging a little bit of corn. And then I've got a rig that's got a really long lash on, so I can swing it out past the pole tip for corn. So I'm hoping to pick up some better fish on the corn, you know, bigger skimmers, etc and then build a sort of, I don't need to catch anything on the casters. And then in an idea world, we flick between them two lines and that's all we'd have to worry about all day. But I do also have just here, top kit and one, a short line, which later on in the match, I may try fishing with the, the maggot. I've got a fair bit of maggot left over from the last time I went. And Tom ought to be a pint as well, so he didn't know I had those, I've got plenty. So, so it's almost a throwaway line and I'll probably feed that aggressively in the last hour or so, depending on how things are going. So I'm taking a bit of advice from Tom on what's best to do and I'm just trying to see if I can get myself in the frame up here for the first time. So wish me luck, let's see how we get on. Just gonna spread it a little bit because I'm gonna be pinging over this line. So I'm not gonna be super accurate anyway. And that is probably the only bait that's gonna go in the way of the pot the whole day. Unless I find that I can't catch pinging. I've been doing really well pinging baits just lately, so let's stick with that. Just past that line, 14 and a half metres, but I've got a long lash on this rig, so it's another half a section further out. But I'm not putting the pole over that any fish's heads. Get me eye in for pinging the two different types of bait. Got my pink corn, just small amounts around the corn line. It's a little bit longer than that, and then casters on the caster line. A little bit longer than that. That's nice. Well, then, guys, one hour update. Got probably about four pounds. Got couple of roach, a really nice perch, I should probably show you on the camera now, another perch, another small perch, a sort of, I don't know, 8 to 10 ounce skimmer, um, you know, my perch is two and a half pound, and the other bit's got a pound and a half, I've got four pound, um, um, I didn't catch anything on the corn line, I dropped onto the Caster line, um, and um, I had a few, few fish. I tried maggot, couldn't, I tried maggot hook something decent, but it comes straight off. Which probably was another perch because they do have a habit of coming off. Um, uh, and I couldn't get really get a bite on the maggot, so I've gone on to caster. I've had, Two nice roach and that perch, but the bites just you know you have to wait for them at the moment. But I'm still pinging casters in all the while, trying to you know draw more fish in. And then I've just had um, just put double pinky on and add a small perch. So just try maggot and pinky and add a skimmer. So back on the maggot and pinky, see if we can get some skimmers. Just messing about with different hook baits. You know, I'll try Castor again in a bit. <coughs> I 
right three hour update you only had them odd fish that you've seen a few skimmers really not had a lot else just looking at what we can do to what we can do to try to do some more bites so uh, try swinging past and that seems to have worked give me a few better fish well, that seems to now be uh, exhausted as well I'll increase me pinging a little bit last few last few put ins Change me catapults, try and use a small one that's grouped a bit tighter. Now I'm just trying double double maggot. I don't know if that was a bite or not then. Just trying double maggot to try and have a bait that stands out because I feel like got, there might be a fair bit of bait down there and uh want more maggots to stand out. Really sure where my match is going from here. I'm getting right royally hammered all around the place, so lots of people beating me it's not in the race at all and there's carp being caught not lots of carp but there's enough carp you know it's not going to be a big carp day but carp are heavy so you don't need many of them and there's people catching lots of skimmers on the waggler and a lot of the people that fish on the pole aren't really catching that much on the silvers front they are catching carp I've got to kind of make a decision what I'm doing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ping this time because pinging don't seem to have helped me. And that was just a tiny little wrench. It was something. Yeah. But, you know, I've got, I've got a few of them. Not loads of them. They don't mind because what normally happens is you have one of them, the next put you can have a nice skimmer. Um, those are floating ones let me just see whether or not I selected another floaty one and I'm, I've definitely noticed that hiding a, ma hiding a hook inside the cast has been definitely had more bites when I've done that again a little flick it out just flicking it out past the bolt it and then it fall back i've got a sort of strong out shotting pattern so it's falling slow anyway and obviously because it's all tight it holds onto it and slows it down even more that's in and settled already in the better skimmers i've had today i've been having it on the on the drop really on the settle the only fish I've really caught off the deck have been perch. I've had three, one really nice one which you've seen and a couple of okay, well one was okay and the other one was small. Little roach on again. Seems to be all that's out there at the moment. Let's put some uh, more bait on that line. I won't switch you guys off, catch it a bit. Right and guys, we've gone into the last hour. I'm literally about to get into the last hour. So I, when I spoke to you last, I would I decided I was gonna dump a load of bait on the another load of pot another part of bait out on the long line and try these two short lines. Try the two short lines and, and, and literally didn't have a bite. And so um, um so I'll give it half an hour to another one. So I've gone out onto the long line and have a nice little run of roach. Well, I've got four roach and four puts. Then I've got a couple of skimmers. Um, and I thought oh, this is good. And then it's gone a bit quiet. I didn't want to top it up again, just felt like there was plenty of bait in there. So I've just put I've just squeezed a piece of corn. I thought I'd put a corn skin on. And see whether the skimmers there and, and they're just you know and it's just a case of getting them to find my bait because there's obviously a lot I, I did put some corn in but there's a lot more grains of 
um, not grains, but there's a lot more casters down there than and casters are harder to see on the bottom, blah blah blah, and it's the water's quite clear, so I thought maybe a grain of corn. And I didn't want to put like a grain on. It's just gone under again, I've hooked another one. I didn't want to put like a grain, a heavy grain of corn on this really delicate rig, because I thought it was just gonna keep sinking me float and give me false bites. So I just um, squeezed it. And you know, did like a, a corn skin that's come off. And I thought, um, you know, maybe a corn skin flutter down through the water and they'd see it coming, because that's how they've been having it. And, and that was my third time out with a corn skin on, and the third fish I ducked. So, so the corn skin's working really well. Just give the corn a squeeze, popping all the middle out so it's got no weight. But it still looks like a grain of corn, and it, and it sinks nice and slow, and there's not any weight, so it doesn't start acting like an anchor because I'm only just on, you know, I'm just on the bottom and I've literally got the float down to a pimple trying to see some of these bites today it's a very nice mirror calm day so I've been able to do that and I'm just getting a few fish now, I mean it's all probably too little too late but it's just nice to get some bites but you know if I can get five or six good skimmers at the end it might mean I'm putting a reasonable weight on the scales instead of getting hammered but the bites are coming really quick on this cord now it's getting really hard to see the float now the lights changed little dink there I've got one yeah, delicate little bite that was In the mouth that one was, Ricky. That one was in the mouth, mate. 